worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you.
Waymaker, miracle worker, a promise keeper, light in the darkness. That's who he is. That's who he is. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. The splendor of the King Clothing majesty Let all the earth rejoice All the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light And darkness tries it trembles at his voice It trembles at his voice How great is our God Sing with me How great is our God And all will see how great How great
the Lord a hand clap of praise. Don't even know he is a great God. He's high and lifted up. There is none like him in all the earth. He is a great and an awesome God. Well, once again, we want to welcome you to the live virtual worship service of Lighthouse Christian Center. Thank you so much for tuning in, connecting with us by any means necessary. As you know, this is somewhat of our new normal. We're thanking God for the opportunity to give the word and worship with you virtually. Uh, as you know, we're our regular uh, location. We're not at Fort Dorchester High School. Right now, we're meeting every Sunday at 3 p.m. at Magnolia Baptist Church, 1234 Highway 61. Every Wednesday at uh, 7 p.m., we have a Zoom Bible study. Uh, so feel free to connect with us via Facebook, through our website on Zoom. We stream that live as well as we have our group discussion Bible study. If you would like to connect with our ministry, uh, give us a call, 771-4886. Also, if you would like to donate, you want to give uh, through our website, you can go to lighthousesc.org or cash app, dollar sign, LCC donate. That's dollar sign, LCC donate. Praise the Lord. I believe that's all the announcements that we have, and we thank God for you, you and especially you. For those of you who have an opportunity, who, who would like to give, we'll give you a, a scripture, we'll give you an opportunity to do that as well. I'm going to read a very familiar passage. We looked at this, I believe, before. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 6 uh, and 7. It says, but this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, but he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully, so let each one give as he purposes in his heart not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Verse 8, this is what I love. It says the Bible, it says, and God is able to make all grace abound, grace is favor, to abound toward you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. If you have an uh, if you have an offering envelope, you need one, we can provide one for you, and we'll just pray with you in a few moments that the Lord will bless you real, real good. Amen? Hallelujah. I mean, we have the victory, man. Victory is mine. It belongs to me. Hey, victory is mine. Yeah. Victory is mine. Victory today. First Sunday, we would like you to prepare your hearts and mind for Holy Communion as we reflect on the sacrifice that Jesus has made. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. We bless you.
of me in the same manner he also took the cup after supper saying this is the cup of the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the Lord's death till he come this bread represents the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ you may not eat of it This juice represents the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that was shed for you and was shed for me now. You may drink. Praise the Lord. And Father, once again, we thank you. We bless you. We praise you for the sacrifice you made. We thank you for your presence today. That reminds us of everything you went through, your life, how you gave up everything just for us. Your word declares that this is the cup of blessing. We receive by faith this blessing. We receive forgiveness of sins, cleansing our conscience from dead works. We receive healing to our physical bodies, protection, deliverance, and we owe it all to you. We bless you and we praise you, and because you gave your life, we in turn give our lives to you, living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you. We give you praise, honor, and glory for these things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 and amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for the sacrifice that he made. Amen? amen? Praise the Lord. All right, all right. Well, we're not going to prolong the time. We're going to get right into the Word of God. If you're here, those of you who are listening by way of social media, live streaming, broadcast, our text scripture, Today will be in Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. I'm actually going to be reading from the New Living Translation. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 17. As we continue, it might be the last uh, lesson that we teach on reconciliation. All right, as you're turning there, we'll go ahead and pray. Once again, Father, thank you so very much for this opportunity and privilege to share your word today with you.